doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Had to map out my whole month before I made my better. Jumped up, got into it. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Frenchie, and you are now tuned into Talk of the Town. Today, I got a very special guest, a Brooklyn native. He from yes, East New York. Yes, yes. Kai what? Kai Cash. I All go by right. the name Kai Cash. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm excited because I heard about you a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, you say you're from Brooklyn, right? Yeah. And what part? East New York. East New York. East New York, York section, East yes. New I don't want to ask you exactly what part of East New York. We don't want to drop no stuff, but shout out to the East. I'm from the East as well. <laughs> okay, so, cool. Yeah. Um, what did you grow up listening to as a young kid in the East? What was your, your go-to? Uh, me, I, I listened to a lot of Biggie, like, mm -hmm. growing up, growing up. But then, you know, Jay-Z, of course. Yeah. 50 Cent came out. I think he had the whole city just mm -hmm. on a lot. I used to listen to a lot of Mary J. Blige because my mom's. Okay. She had a real, like, versatile. I don't even know if you would call it a playlist back then because mm -hmm. it wasn't playlists. Yeah. The CDs and shit, like when she cleaning up the house and all that. Yeah, on the Sunday morning and shit. Feel me? Yeah. yeah like the, That's how it be. What I would hear was just crazy. So I used to listen to a lot, but those were, like, my primary. Yeah. Okay, Hot so boys. you said Jay, Biggie, 50, and Mary. Yeah. You had to put the little Thanks. R&B in there, of Had course. to, because she's you. very, very important. All right, so you know we went through the pandemic, the mm -hmm. panty. What Gunna said, the... What, you remember what Gunna said? The, it's a panoramic. It's a panoramic. <laughs> That's what we went through. So how did the panoramic affect you musically, or did it? No, nah, it definitely did. I didn't, I didn't make a song mm -hmm. for, like, the first... Two months. Of really? that shit. Yeah, like I was stuck. Because with me, and I feel like this is with most artists, mm -hmm. you have to be able to get inspiration from something. Yes. And if we don't, we don't got nothing going on, it's yeah. just like, all right, so what am I going to talk about? You could talk about the same shit all day, but it's mm -hmm. just like, you're not growing as an artist. And I'd rather try to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got a chance to learn myself a little bit more, yeah. become self aware. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, you know what? I could, I'd rather take the time and not create mm -hmm. and try to force. Yes. Things. Yes, because so. then it's going to be trash. Yeah, you feel me? So musically, I was just trash. chilling. Like, I was dropping old music and mm -hmm. not really writing more so, like, reading it, trying to gotcha. pick up on documentaries and things of that nature. But Okay. Um, so you had the book, The Tranquil Overcoming mm -hmm. the Experience, about yes. mental illness. Yeah. That's pretty fucking dope. Thank you. Like, that's real dope. Do you still struggle with mental illness or... It's you know, anxiety. That's really the thing that bothers mm -hmm. me all the time. And it's I never really knew what it was. Mm -hmm. but I always knew it was yes. something. Yes. And when I found out what it was, it's just like, all right. Mm -hmm. I know mad people that go through this. Yes. But nobody really knows what it is, especially mm -hmm. in the black community. We don't talk about yeah. mental illness. So. Yeah. But my fault. I'm going. No, no, left. no, no. You question. Right. Yeah, I do definitely still deal with it. But since I wrote the book, I've been able to kind of cope with it. Like I know yes. how to get myself through it. How did you discover that it was anxiety that you were battling? Um, first, I got diagnosed. Okay. I actually went to the doctor. Because really? the first time it happened, mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie that I was having a heart attack or some crazy shit. And I went to the doctor, and it was just like, nah, you just have anxiety. They was telling me to breathe in a yeah. brown paper bag. Yeah. And what? Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Like, that sounds like some movie Control shit. my breath. They try to give me pills, but I don't like pills. So yeah. I was mm -hmm. like, I'm not taking no pills. I'm not doing none of that. And from there, I started Googling shit. Google, of course. Google. Google's the worst. It Could is. You not? It's the but worst. then it's good, though. It, kinda. It is, kinda. Kinda. Yeah. Um, so how did you get over it? Helping. I mean, the book, did it help? Um, writing the book. Writing the that, book. That yes. was the most important part of it. Because... Really, writing was what, was one of my mechanisms. Like I listed it in a book too, like mm -hmm. writing and watching some funny shit or meditating. Meditation is really fire. Like yeah. just sitting with yourself mm -hmm. ten minutes and just breathing and shit. That's like a that. long time. That <laughs> I tried to meditate one time. That was crazy. Ten minutes. Well, however long you feel no, like. No, I'm you saying that's good yourself. if you could meditate for now, ten it minutes. It gradually bro. grew to ten minutes. It, it oh, wasn't okay. like off the rip. I'm just sitting yeah. ten minutes. I go crazy. But you said you was a homebody, so you should be able to see with yourself. Look, I be watching TV. All right. So I ain't sick. All right. No, that's that's a that's a good one too. Like yeah. anything to just take your mind off of the anxiety. Yes. And for me, writing, mm -hmm. me being a rapper and all that, mm -hmm. writing was just something that helped me kind of forget about it in the moment. And yes. I figured why not write something that can help 
everybody, not just myself. Yes. And then I just continue to carry out every mechanism that I wrote about. Yeah. So I still meditate. I still write. I still read. I still work out. Mm -hmm. I just do simple shit that just helps me keep my mind clear. Mm -hmm. The next question I was going to ask you, how does the mental illness affect your music? But it seemed like it kind of, well, the music kind of helps that. Or yeah, for the most part. And I feel like it helps the music. In a sense, because now, like I said, it's it's a, it's a form of inspiration. Like, yeah. it gives me something to talk about. I can touch a whole new audience. Yeah, no real so. shit. So, you did the school thing. You went to college. Mm -hmm. I believe you was dabbling in, like, fashion. And then... Yeah, I was. You know, yeah. I almost forgot about that. That's crazy. <laughs> how you forget? Yeah, that's out of pocket. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so then... um. How did you decide to pursue music? With all of those different avenues, how you knew music was the one for you? I, um, I, the craziest shit is, mm -hmm. I kind of grew up in music. My pops was like a part of Junior Mafia. Mm -hmm. His friends were big. My mom wanted to become a singer, but she didn't like how the industry was. So she mm -hmm. kind of put that aside. Mm -hmm. And I made my first song when I was seven. That shit is crazy. I still have it on my phone to this day. Really? Yeah. And... It's always just been a thing for me. Like, when I was in school, I never played... Like, I was never good at sports. I didn't like playing sports. They tried mm -hmm. to put me on a football team. It was over. Mm -hmm. I played one season. I was just like, I'm not doing this no more. Yeah. And as I got older, it's just like, I just became more prone to the pen. And it's just like, I want to make music. Gotcha. So I started creating music, and it's just like life. The way the universe works, everything just kind of came to me while I was going for that music goal. Gotcha. And it's just been a passion since I was young. So I'm like, let me just stick the music out. And yeah. Sometimes it's, it's it aligns. Doing, yeah. It's been doing me very, very well. It has. So we see you got um your group CYN. Mm -hmm. What does that stand for? I needed to figure out what that... C CYN stands for Create Your Now. So basically it's just like... Okay. Whatever, yeah, whatever, your, whatever your destiny, your passion, your narrative is, mm -hmm. just live in that moment and create it. Don't... No, we don't have time. Yeah, real shit. Right. Gotta just get it done. Who does the group consist of? Me, myself, my guy Nico Brim, mm -hmm. King Combs, mm -hmm. Tiz the Influence, who's a DJ, mm -hmm. Great Dame, who's another artist, Shaq and Living, who are other New York artists, mm -hmm. K Wells, who's our artist from um, Tampa, Florida. Okay. And the, the president is the CYM president. Okay. And we all grew up together. So before we even came up with a CYN, we was all already family. So it's a strong bond. Yeah. Okay, so you got a couple tapes. Out of all your tapes, how many tapes you got? Three right Three, now. Three, right? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite tape? Last one I just dropped, Seven Sorry. Eleven Deluxe. Okay, Seven yeah. Eleven Deluxe. Deluxe. Yeah, I like the. De <laughs> <laughs> I like the Deluxe better than the original because I added the, added six more songs and it was yeah. just like, them six songs, doing numbers right now and it was powerful. Like I like how it. I like how the people gravitated to it. Yeah. And it's more, I, I got the chance to see the growth in a few months. I dropped them months apart. I dropped the first one January 17th mm -hmm. and the second one July 11th. Mm -hmm. It's just like I evolved, so I definitely like that one. So where the name came from, 7-Eleven? All right, the craziest okay. thing is I wanted to do seven songs in 11 minutes. That was my whole thing, okay. but it's just like that's how we're going to do that. Every song will have to be a minute and 30 seconds. Yeah. So I was just like, all right, scratch that. So I was going to do seven songs in an 11-minute short film. Mm. But that requires a lot. So I was, like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? You lazy. Not even that. It's just like you got to have the money and all that. Like my vision is going to cost me a lot. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just yeah. chill off that. We're going to do that later. So it was just like, you know what? Seven songs. Mm -hmm. 11 is going to stand for something. So I figured it out. I'm like, all right, 7-Eleven is a wide variety. When you walk into 7-Eleven, you can pick up damn near anything. Yeah. This is exactly what I'm doing with the music. I'm yeah. giving you seven different parts of me. Yeah, got you. So it came together like, all right, 7-Eleven is just me yeah. giving you a wide variety of yeah. me. That makes sense. I seen when I was doing my research at 7-Eleven, like they yeah, added you stop. on Twitter. That was super <laughs> fucking dope. Thank you. Was nah, I was, that was a part of my goal, too. I didn't know how I was going to do it, like if I was going to try to collab and get like a slushy or some shit yeah. like that. But, you yeah, thinking, like, <laughs> that that's, that's like, smart. I dropped on 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. not knowing that that was the day that they catered to the store. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's obvious. And they was just like, wow, you're going to drop on our special day? What if we drop yeah, on yours? Yeah, I am. I was like, yeah, like, <laughs> like let's, let's work too while we at it. 
Shit. They ain't answer that, but we're gonna figure that out. That's still getting a little Yeah, like, nah, that's all I needed. Yeah. That all dope. I needed was that act. Perfect. Yeah. So what's your favorite song on your tape? Seven Eleven. Right now, Helen Keller featuring CEO Trail yeah. is my favorite song. Uh why? Because it's just a bop. Like and I have fun creating a song. And it's it's going crazy right now. That too. was the one you just dropped the video yeah. for, right? Yeah, yeah, I seen that. That yeah. one was Yeah, I got a nice chemistry. Thank you. Thank yeah, everybody got, says that. We got yeah. a lot of songs together too. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's my favorite song right now. Mm-hmm. And then um, I would have to say Never Easy, which was a song I dropped. I mean, the video I dropped before Helen Keller is my second favorite. Okay. Mine's on the tape, I think, is Blue. That's on there. Yo, I like crazy. Blue and Canvas is my shit. Okay. okay. Canvas is my shit. I okay. was bumping that. But okay. Thank you. Thank you. So what you think is your most slept on song? Mm. Yeah. I'm going to say from the original Trinity, which is the outro. Yeah. It's real bar driven. You know, a lot of people's attention span is not that high. Including mine, yeah. I, my attention span short as hell. But um, from the deluxe, I would have to say, damn. So you think all your shit is? I think people pay attention. I, 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 it's just Trinity. I might just have to say Trinity. I'm surprised you said the Trinity song because I listened to it and it was really like even though it's barzy, it's still like the it's still vibey. Yeah, so I'm surprised you. that you said that. But. Yeah, I feel like Trinity. I, I definitely feel like. Just because of how long it is, too. That's just four minutes of me just rapping. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people seem like, all right, bro. Yeah, they got ADD. Yeah, Man. you feel me? <laughs> so, how would you describe the music that you make? Exquisite simplicity. Okay. And that's always been a definition for me because it's like, it's simple. Mm-hmm. But it's different. I definitely feel you on that. You feel me? I definitely feel you on that. It's, it's very simple, but it definitely does hit. Yeah, that's it's, how it's not it. like... A lot of shit you hear today mm. or a lot of shit you've heard like it's just, i have my own way of just doing it a lot so i've always described it as that okay what you said simple ex- Ex- exquisite simplicity yeah you gotta keep saying yeah, that yeah, facts. so <laughs> what's the top five your top five right now right now or ever ever okay right now she went right now oh, shit. i like to do ever but all right if i, I go think- right now i gotta go drake okay I gotta go Thug. Okay. I gotta go Kendrick. And this is not even in the order. Mm-hmm. Um, that's three. That's three. Mm-hmm. I'm a, he's new, but I'm, I'm becoming a real heavy fan of Baby Keem. That tape was fire. That tape is crazy. Like that I, blue mal- I, should I really listened the whole way, and I was not disappointed. Because it it's like, all right, I know what I'm expecting from you, so mm-hmm. I'm not going to be like, nah, you should have did more. So I'm gonna put Baby Keem up there for yeah. right now. Right We're talking now. about right now. And one hmm, more, right? Yeah. One more. You got I a like good a lot variety. Of, I got I like a lot of artists. Like I'm a big fan of SZA. SZA, all right. Yeah. For the females, I like me? that one. Either SZA or Kiana Lede. Okay, I never heard it. Oh. Who that? Tune in. Okay. Tune in after. Kiana the day. We gonna she's have hot. to. Yeah, all right. yeah, she's hot. Shout out to the peoples. Facts. All right. So you from Brooklyn? Mm-hmm. Do you plan on working with any Brooklyn artists? Yeah, uh, I was actually in the studio yesterday with Lola Brooke. Oh, shout out to her. My guy, yeah. Lola Brooke, we see you. Yeah, in fact, we uh, we gonna come up with some crazy yeah. shit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know if y'all ever heard of Leaf Els. Leaf Els. He's a drill rapper. Yes, they have. That's my cousin, by the way, too. Like, that's my blood cousin. And we got we got work together, so I, I'm always working with him. But, yeah, I'm open. You know, I don't live out here no more, so I don't really be knowing what's, like, going on in the streets. You got to tap in. But I got to, yeah, like, now that I'm back here for a little while, I've been making sure I'm outside just rubbing shoulders. With certain yeah, people. definitely. I definitely want to work with, people like, Chef G, Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Um, yeah. And who else is from Brooklyn? That's buzzing. That's crazy. That's right buzzing. Five Girls. Five Girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, anybody. Five Burrows, too? Um, okay. I got mad music with Capella. Me and Capella. I've known Capella for like seven years, so. Well, he buzzing right now, so that would definitely yeah, nah, be good. Yeah, me and Capella have mad. Shout out to Capella. Um, Dizzy Banco, he's a producer. Yeah. My guy Bearded. I don't know if y'all know Bearded, but he's another producer mm-hmm. that he's, he's hard. Uh, this guy named Devon Terrell. Mm-hmm. Um, and who else? You was like, I'm going to let you off the I'm about to say, yeah, nah. It's a, it's a few people. I'm... I'm one of those, I don't got no problems with nobody, so I can really work with everybody. Yeah, that's good, because it's a lot of, you know, beef mm, with facts. politics and shit. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, so how would you describe success as an artist? Like, 
to yourself? To me, success as an artist is just me being happy with whatever I make and me being able to to captivate millions of people. Like, I just always wanted my message to get across. Gotcha. I, I don't really, I don't make music for money. I feel like when you do anything for money, you, it's not really what you love to do. You just you, you greedy. Yeah. When you're good at something, you're going to make money regardless. Definitely. So I feel like success is just the happiness in, in doing what you love, really. Okay. So what's your creative process? It's different. Sometimes I'll go into the studio and I'll go through my email and listen to some beats and write to it, or I'll listen to a beat, pull a beat up, and whatever I feel like saying in my head, mm -hmm. I'll... Excuse me, I get on the mic and I'll just punch in and, and say, and I know how to engineer myself and I produce now, so mm -hmm. for the most part, I'm becoming like this one-man band where I can just go in the studio by myself and just do That's everything. Good. That's really it. All right. Um, where do you get your inspiration from? Everyday life, really. Like, I, I'll, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Like, I wake up and just see some shit and it's just like, I, I want to talk about that today. Or I'm in a relationship, so like, my girl will get me mad, or me and my girl will be doing some cool shit, and it's just like, I'll talk about this. So that's it. You feel me? Yeah, my, that's the thing, too. Like People love when you when you diving deep into your relationship. Yeah, because they can relate. You feel me? And, and that, too, like relatable, just relatable shit. Yeah. That's really what I get inspired by. So we're going to bring it back to Brooklyn, being mm -hmm. that you're from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on the music scene right now? Like, the little drill and... I feel like I love it strictly because... It's like we have our own sound. Granted, it's kind of it's going everywhere, mm -hmm. and it it was in London and shit like that before. Chicago had their own version, but our version I feel like is so wavy, mm -hmm. and it's so I, I'm not gonna say it's super different, but it's appealing. It is, and it's bringing a lot back home mm -hmm. for all of us. Like rest in peace, Pop Smoke. I feel like he did a lot for us. Definitely, Fabio's doing a lot for us. That whole scene in general, like whether these niggas be having beef with each other or not. I know that they all know what they're doing for back home and what they're doing for the coach, and it's important. So I definitely feel like right now the music scene is, is, is dope, but I want to see what's, what's, what's going to be next. Yeah. I'm definitely, definitely ready. So any artists that you want to collaborate with? I got a goals list. I want to work with Brent Fires, okay. Cash Page. Um, damn, who's on my list? Don Tolliver. Mm -hmm. Um, Hove always. Definitely. I gotta catch that man though. He's getting older. He might. He might just. Want yeah, to, but the like pen still off. fire though. Nah, his pen is still amazing. Oh. But I just feel like one day he's gonna be like, I'm. I don't want to rap. Yeah. <laughs> with nobody. Let's hope no time soon. <laughs> with nobody that facts. I'm praying it's yeah. no time soon. Um, Mary J. Blige as well. She's always been one of my favorite yeah. artists. Uh. Damn. I'm, I know I'm missing mad people. It be like that. It's, yeah, it's just like every time you get asked a question, you just miss everything. I want to work with Pharrell. Okay. Um, Future. Doug, for sure. Yeah. And I'm going to just... That sounds dope. I'm going to just leave it at that right now. It's mad. It's mad other people I want to work with. Yeah, it's endless. I mean, yeah, facts. I'm going to just leave it at that. How you feel you improved on your musical journey? Like from... Ooh. First when tape. I started, yeah, from when I started. For one, and we talking tapes, I feel like I've grown ridiculously. My first tape was just like, mm -hmm. I don't even listen to it no more. Not to say it's bad, but it's just like, yeah, I don't, like, I feel like I'm more relatable now. I'm more comfortable. I'm, yes. I've, I've grown to be more confident in my yeah. musical journey. Like, before I used to not even want to have certain people hear my shit. Like, yeah. you just hear it when it come out. Now it's just like, I'll walk into a session and I just start playing shit. Yeah. So I'm definitely more confident and more comfortable. That's dope. That's dope. So what's next for you? Like, what you trying to do? I'm about to drop this project called Highway Music in like a month or two. Um, you said highway? Highway music. Okay. Yeah. It's just, that's really the theme of it. It's just like, imagine you being on a highway for however long the project is. Mm -hmm. you're just listening straight through it. It's going to have skits and five vibes. And um, I'm trying to... I'm trying to put a tour together with some upcoming artists like myself. Mm -hmm. I had to cancel a show at SOBs because of this vaccine mandate. Um, yeah. But that's pretty much it right now. I got the Mental Health Mondays podcast, too, mm -hmm. where I'm going to um, kind of cater to 
artists, entertainers, okay. things like that, because I feel like they don't talk about their mental health enough. They don't. And that's that's pretty much it right now. The music is my is my focal point. Though. It's okay. The most important thing. That's dope. That's dope. So, I want to ask one last question. Go ahead. You planning on getting vaccinated? <laughs> I need to know. No, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. No, like I I feel like they gotta get that situated first because okay. I feel like it's still all over the place. I'm not against it. I'm not against anybody getting vaccinated. I wouldn't tell you not to get vaccinated, mm. but me personally, I just feel like. If I were to get vaccinated, it wouldn't be right now. Like, I'm not okay. ready. I could stay in the crib. Got you. Got you. Dead ass. <laughs> so, I ain't getting vaccinated either. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. I'm just not ready yet. Like, I feel like they're still going to try to add some new shit. You can still catch COVID. See? So, this is Frenchie, and this is Talk of the Town. We here with yeah. Kai Cash. Thank you yes. for coming on. Thank you for having um, me again. Go check out 7-Eleven, the yeah. Deluxe. Yeah. Go tune in, yeah, CYN, all of that hot tangs. <laughs> so, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate you. you. Okay.